Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have a card share and some tags I wanted to share with you guys. And these are the items right here that I used to create them with. So this is a Merry Christmas stamp that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Then I have a couple of Spellbinder dies that I use. I think these are the classic circle right here. Then I picked up this at Hobby Lobby and it has all these words in here for die. Then I picked up this from Paper Tray Ink. It's a basic bookmark three. And then I used a couple of dies from Pink and Main. This is the medium bow die. And this is the small bow die. Then I used the ornate sleigh presents. And I used a little small poinsettia on there. To celebrate the season from Heartfelt Creations, I used this little small flower here. I used this tag dies from Marianne Designs, and that's the number right there if you guys are interested in it. I used a sparkling, sparkling poinsettia from Heartfelt Creations. This is Thinlet die from Hobby Lobby. I picked that up. It's a Sizzix die, and the name of that is Holiday Grains Mini, and I didn't put that back in there right, so I'm not sure. If you're gonna be able to see that or not. Then I picked this one up, pink and main, and this is the stitch top note dies. And that's the number right there in case you guys are interested. And then I picked this one up too at I think I got this at Michael's. This is a Hero Arts. And I'm not sure what the name of this one is. But anyway, it's that stamp there and so let's go ahead and I'll start with the tags first so these are the polka doodles I have fell in love with these I think they're so cute and um, so I created on um, the cards and all the tags with those so this is the first one she's so cute I just did some stickles on her and then I used those three pink and main dies right there. And I did a little small bow die up here. I did some ribbon and a little jingle bell and some twine there. And on the back of this one, I just did Jolly Wishes with one of those dies. And then I did this one. Really, really cute. I did some more stickles on her little hat in different places. I popped these little snowflakes up and put some of this red uh, paper behind here another little small bow right there and then I tied another bow with a jingle bell in that same ribbon and this one's just left blank on the back and then I did one more tag and um, I just thought they were so cute I love the colors and um, everything they just look so clean looking or something and these were already colored I purchased one of their digital um, kits and so these were already colored. I didn't have to color these and this is from a stamp I have that little medium bow here and Another bow jingle bells and some more ribbon. This is from the Merry Christmas stamp I think I just said that <laughs> and this is a little poker doodle girl So so cute and I left this one blank too and I double layered some uh, Cardstock in the back of that one too just to give it that little bit of a shimmer and then these three cards right here, these will be for sale in my Etsy shop. And I'll have a link to that if you guys are interested. And I'm going to take them out of these. But I did just want you to see that the boxes that they come in are really nice. They have um, like a one inch uh, little place right here for them to fit in. You just open them up from the top and they just come out. And these are reusable so you could use them for other things too. But I did want you to, you know, see them, how they look in the box. Really pretty. And you can wrap a ribbon around them and tie a really pretty bow on those. I just thought they turned out so cute. So I'm going to be right back and I will take these out of the box so you guys can see them better. Okay, so we'll start with this one first. I just did some petal leaf flowers up here and did a little flower cluster. Um, some of these flowers are really old. I've had them... Um, a long, long time. I think I picked those up at Michael's. These on the ends. I did some of these little white balls in there. I thought they were so cute. And then I did some <clears throat> some of these little green fillers just from my old um, 
little flower arrangement that I had and I just cut it apart and put it in there. Then you have some snowflakes layered in the back right here. And I think there's one up here. It kind of got covered up. Have a couple of them here. Put some of these little red jewels in there. And tied a little bow down here. And this is from the DIY Boutique Supply. I had done a haul um, maybe a week or so back. So if you guys are interested in the things that I picked up from there, um, you can check that video out. I'll link in the description bar below. Then I did a Merry Christmas here. Just layered some of the different papers back there. There's my little polka doodles girl. She's so cute. I just stickled her up with some stickles. And these are the stickles that I used. I had someone that asked me, and it really doesn't say um, what the name of them are. But that's the color of them. I think I picked those up at Michael's. And that might be in the diamond. I'm not sure. <clears throat> but anyway, this one is an easel card. And it sits up on these pearls. Like this right here. I just did another die cut and put it down here at the bottom. So you can write your sentiment on there. So I thought this one was so cute. I really um, had a good time and just enjoyed making some cards. And this is the next one right here. And I just did another bow down here. I, I tied that with my bow Dabra. Um, this came from Hobby Lobby, this little piece here. Um, I did some more um, stamps here, and I had some pretty different colors of glitter in there. I'm not sure if you're going to even be able to see it, but it's really pretty. And I backed it on some more red uh, sparkly paper. I have a couple more snowflakes in the back. <clears throat> and two Spellbinder dies here, and there's my pretty little girl. So cute. I did some more stickles on different places on there. And all of these flowers right here came from Michael's. And I did some more little greenery. These have little red balls in them. And then I just glued these little white balls. I think I picked those up at Hobby Lobby. Pick those up in the, put those in the background. And this sits up on this beautiful bling that I got from the DIY Boutique Supply. So pretty. I have a little place right here that you can um, write your sentiment on. I did some more of that red sparkly paper some lace trims and some red ribbon across the top there and it's, it's like that really really pretty and I have one more <clears throat> I did this one this is where I used all the heartfelt creation um, poinsettias and I just love them I think the dimension is so pretty I hope you guys can see how dimensional they are they not flat at all I put some silver stickles on there, and this is that die that I used from Sizzix. I put it there and just put some little red dots on that. This is a little present that came from the paper collection. Some more of the flowers down here in the leaves. I have a couple snowflakes, one here and one up here, and I think they got this one up here got covered up a little bit. These stars came from the paper collection. The season's greeting came from the paper collection. <clears throat> and I did distress all the papers with my Tim Holtz distressor. Looks like this right here. And this one sits up on some pretty lace trim. And then this little stopper is from the DIY Batik Supply. Really pretty and um, sparkly. And then I laid some, layer, laid some lace trim here. And this is the same die that I used up here. And it just sits like that when it's closed really pretty so I hope you guys like my little um, share here little card share and tag share and if you're interested um, go by and check my store out I have some things in there you might be interested in for Christmas and I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you guys later bye, -bye.